Hello and welcome to Magic AutoCAD. In this part of tutorial, we will learn how to exploit the helix command. So here you can find the helix command. So let's get started. Before you start working, please make sure your drawing space is switched to 3D modeling. Move over here to the view panel, then you drop here down and you select the southeast isometric view then you type in UCS icon enter then you're gonna see on the command line you select no origin you click on that then move over here to the draw panel you drop down and you're gonna see the helix command eh? you click then come here and uh, you specify the first point then you click the base point another point and you click no matter the shape of your helix please don't bother Move your cursor, then you double left click. Then this helix uh, dialog box is gonna pop up. Then here you're gonna see. Let's start with the top radius. Here I would like us to type in three. Then the base radius. I would like us to type in three then let's move to give the height let's type in 10 then the turns let's type in 6 for turns then you close your dialect box so here we're gonna have something like this then from here you may have want to have a taper helix then you come back here at the top reduce let's type in one then you're gonna see that it has taper from up then what if you want need to taper from down then automatically let's change then let's type up let's type at the base two then you see that it has taper from the base so that is how we make a taper heli and the last option we're going to see here is the twist okay looking at this helix you see that the twist is uh, contra to clockwise okay here as you can see here is contra to clockwise then you can select clockwise okay you see that it's at the clockwise direction let's quickly see another example you go under draw you click on helix then you specify the base point then here you're going to be asked to specify the diameter then you specify the diameter and then it specify the the top radius then now if you want to move it to a different direction and then you click on axis endpoint then you can move to a different direction you can as well double click to edit it function let's quickly look at another example let's create a copy then from here i'd like us to create spider in order to create spider you double click then you come here the top radius should be zero and the height should be zero and you can give a number of turns so here you will see that we have created a spider then let's see how we can convert this uh, helix to a spring then let's go under 
circle and uh, make a circle here and give a radius then come on the modeling then you drop on the extrude you're gonna see the sweep command then you click on the circle to sweep enter then you click on the path then you're gonna see your spring here then now let's see how we can create a threaded object from the spring then let's go back to the circle then we we'll make a circle here and we'll give a diameter of six enter then we we'll move to the extrude command enter then you give an extrusion height then you click and the move then from here let's go to the subtract command you click then you click on the object that you want to subtract from enter then you click on the object that you want to subtract enter then automatically you are going to create your thread so thanks very guys for watching see you in our next tutorial